proposed development plan for Bau is to develop tourism area. The existence of Surikin Market, Fairy Cave, Wind Cave, Blue Lake and Bidayo Ceremonial House or Baro will be a place of attraction to the tourists. Besides that, this tourism development will also increase the standard of living of the people in the local area. Therefore, we will develop an infrastructure to make it easy for the tourists to travel and easy for the local people to accommodate them. The idea is to upgrade and build public transport services such as LRT that will be linking to chain Samara Han and Surya. Resources. This can lead to agglomeration and drive to trickling down effect. The spread effect will change both as high development regional and capital, thus increase the standard of living. The market range seems to become wider. People start to travel far away within Bau area or outside Bau due to better infrastructure and transportation. The products and services that exist in Bau area can attract people from far, especially the people that are willing to travel. <laughs> Urban geography used to explain the locational pattern by focusing on distribution pattern, size, and also number of cities in town. Central place theory is a theory that will be used in choosing Bau district as the new development of regional. From what already mentioned by Datuk Peter Nansian, Bau consists of more than 50,000 peoples and it is keep increasing. This shows that there are potential for Bau area to develop due to the potential of the market for the businesses to grow. It was referred to the concept of threshold population. 50,000 people and N2 Tasibiru has a voters of about almost 17,000 and the races in Bau, just like in Malaysia, but uh, in Bau is mostly Bidayu so it's a uh, post population is about 65% and the Chinese about 27% uh, and the Malays remaining about 8% mm -hmm. and uh, the villages uh, the Chinese have only about uh, seven uh, main area, and the Malays have four, and uh, therefore the la the rest about twenty uh, six kampong are uh, kampong, and uh, uh, that is the composition of our uh, bau and tasik biru. Okay. Um, when I started twenty years ago. The basic infrastructure of Tasik Biru and all the road the villages and the water supply and electricity supply are very, very uh, limited actually because uh, like roads, I think perhaps only about 20% are being surfaced and with good road, whereas today all the villages are connected with uh, Tarsi Road. The same thing to electricity, last time the electricity was only uh, confined to the town areas and surrounding areas, but none to the villages around Bau. But today, all the villages and the area in Tasibiru is connected already with electricity from the main grid. Mm. Only, of course, the additional uh, areas, you know, that uh, second phase. In fact, second phase also have been done. So, electricity is already completely implemented. As for water, uh, also, now all the areas is connected with water except the Jagoi is waiting to be completed on the, the as far as the government is concerned. And the first phase, all the initial one is all done except the physical development, some of the physical development that has been happening there. Bau has become a center, especially in tourism activity or more common known as eco tourism. The agriculture product or local product started to attract people from high order and low order places. Bau located near to Sematan, which is well known 
as the fishery area and Kuching, which is a city area. The proposed location that we intend to develop is in Bau District. It is located approximately 36 km or 1 hour drive from Kota Samarahan. It is inhabited by the Bidayo as the major community with the population of 54,246 in 2010. It was once popular for gold and antimony mining activities and it has its own history behind this. The Tasek Biru existence was the proof where these activities occur. Bau has attracted many tourists from local to foreign people and thus we think it has a greater opportunity to be developed in order to satisfy the local and tourist needs and demands. Our first objective of the project is to develop the tourist attraction by planning to build better infrastructures and the facilities to satisfy the tourist needs and preserving the nature around them because nature itself attracts the people to come enjoy it as an escape from their daily routine. Our second objective is to develop the economic activities of the locals as there are demands of supply from the tourists as well as the locals itself. Our justification for this objective is that by developing the economy, we are creating various jobs to the local as well to encourage the local to join retail or small business sectors such as entrepreneurship by making handicrafts, souvenirs, and so on. We are planning this development to benefit the locals for them to fully use the resources. Our justification for this objective is that by developing the economy, we are creating various jobs to the local as well to encourage the local to join retail or small business sectors such as entrepreneurship by making handicrafts, souvenirs, and so on. We are planning this development to benefit the locals for them to fully use the resources.